Hi. So I have been using the MetaQuest to project my artwork up onto the walls. If you follow me, you know that I do um, a lot of murals. So typically I will sketch out the design and then project it uh, up onto the walls. Sometimes I can use a projector, sometimes the projector doesn't work. And if I can't use a projector, then I'm using the grid method. As you know, the grid method takes a lot of time. So I found the MetaQuest uh, has been a great tool and I've been using that a lot and I'm kind of obsessed with it. So I've been getting a lot of questions about how to get your artwork onto the Meta. Now I have a Mac, so it is a little bit more challenging with that. There's just, I think there's just a few more steps involved than if you have a PC. So if you have a PC, this might not be helpful to you. But if you have a Mac, if you're working strictly all with Apple products, then I'm going to show you how to do it. So here we go. Okay, the first thing you're going to need to do is download the app um, to transfer files from Mac to Android or vice versa. I used this one, Fileport. Um, I tried another one. I can't remember which other one I tried, but I, I did not have any luck with that. So Fileport worked really well for me and it's free. Okay, so first thing I'm gonna do is put my MetaQuest on. Um, I have it plugged into the wrong thing. You wanna get your cord plugged in to the Meta. Okay, get it all ready to go. Make sure that you have your controllers handy because you're gonna use them. You're gonna need them right away. Because um, once you plug it into your Mac, then you're gonna see a little uh, icon's gonna come up and you have to click on it really quick. Otherwise it goes away. And then if, it, if that happens, that's okay. You just have to unplug the meta from the computer and then replug it in. And then once that little icon comes up that says USB has been detected, uh, you have to click on it with your controller right away. Okay, so I am just going to plug this in to the Mac and the icon comes up, although you can't see it. I don't know why it's not showing here, but it was there. I clicked on it and now you can see it is plugged into the computer. The little box just popped right up. Okay, so now I'll switch to my screen recording so you can see what happens. So I'm going to click on the DCIM folder right here. And then I'm just gonna drag the image that I want to bring on to my meta. And yes, I wanna move that. And now it's on. So now we can go to the meta quest. Okay. Now we're back in the meta world and I'm gonna open up the contour app and let that load. I'm gonna to go to artwork and then I go to import images and then I'm gonna go back up to the DCIM folder, open that and there is my turtle that I just imported into the meta. So now we can use that and get ready to draw. I'll just show you real quick. What we're gonna do is you're gonna pin it. So let's go over here and I'm just gonna use this canvas that I've been working on, kind of pin it there. And you can see how you can kind of line it up and adjust the positioning and there we go. So once you have it up, you can adjust the size. Um, I'll get more into this maybe in another video, but you can see you could really blow it up as big as you want um, <laughs> or scale it down a little bit and so that it fits your canvas. But that's it. And now you're ready to draw. So I hope you found that useful. Um, if you have any questions, feel free to put a comment below and I will do my best to answer you. Um, I'm still kind of figuring this out myself, so I'm doing my best. But if you have any questions, I'm more than happy to help. Bye.